I always say persistence is the difference between those that make it and those that don't. So you don't have to be the best at what you do, you don't have to be naturally amazing at what you do, you just have to persist. For the most part, I understand that a lot of this is about mindset. A lot of people go into adventure thinking it's born, but really it's whether or not you can be aware of your surroundings under pressure if you can keep calm. That's really, really important. And the key is also preparation, going into it, knowing all the scenarios that you could get into and understanding what you can do to mitigate those. For the last few months, we've been coming to places like Wales in the winter to train for a jungle expedition, <laughs> which is perhaps is absolutely insane. But for us, it's about getting as much experience on the water as possible. This is on our backyard, you know, so it, it, it makes sense to come and train. Um, yeah, and just to learn safety skills from the experts, learn paddling skills and essentially just making sure that we're as ready as we possibly can be uh, for what awaits us in the jungle. Unless you go out there and you train beforehand in very difficult conditions with each other, you don't know how you're going to react under pressure. So it's critical really that we understand the dynamic as a team and where our strengths are and work with that so that we're prepared when we get out on the Essequibo. Why are we doing it? God, you know, it's never been done. It's never been done from source to sea. And for me, there's something brilliant about the fact that there's an unexplored part of the world. We live in this age of connectivity and I can go and Google where I'm going, but setting foot there, feeling it, hearing the birds, smelling the smells, that's what it's about for me. It's about sort of going to this unknown place and just seeing what's out there. And I'm, I'm super excited for that. There's going to be a huge mental challenge of hacking through jungle and constant day on the water paddling because it's like the same thing. It's going to be hugely mentally straining and it's going to be physically straining. So the individual challenge is going to be astronomical. We're going to have this team challenge because we're going to be with each other day in, day out for two months in a really stressful environment. So it's making sure we're all self-aware enough that we can talk through any problems that come up. We've got 16 foot caiman, we've got black piranha, we've got giant waterfalls and rapids. So it's, there's going to be a huge environmental challenge to make sure we're always alert, always looking out for danger and keeping the situation safe. If I'm completely honest, years ago, all I did was solo journeys. And I wanted to do that because I knew out there on my own, there's no one else to trust but yourself. And that was a real fascination for me to understand that and to learn to trust myself. And I'm at a point right now in my career and in my experience where I've understood through my solo journeys that actually there's only so far you can go on your own. And really, if you want to achieve something massive and a huge dream, what you need is a really fantastic team around you. It's all about collaboration for me now because I understand that with big dreams come big teams of people that are absolutely skilled in what they do. I've I've got skills and I'm strong in certain areas, but I'm also very weak in others and I can recognize that and I know that if I can bring the right people around me, I can achieve so much more from that. It's about showcasing what women are capable of, what we're capable of, and also to respect the environment we're in. It's a whole new environment. There's no video or photo evidence of certain sections of this environment, so we want to showcase its beauty and also highlight how to go through an environment respectfully so that it's there for the next person to appreciate it. I've been in some pretty remote areas in my life, but this is the first time where we're gonna to have to be super, super self-reliant. And for me, that's why safety on this expedition is absolutely paramount. Um, in the lead up to this, we've got really trained professionals giving us all their input. We're trying to skill ourselves up as much as possible. And I think something within that is realizing our inexperience and realizing where our comfort level is and not trying to be the hero. We've completed all the training that we possibly could now. We're a couple of weeks away from heading out to Guyana and everything has become real now. We've got the kit we need. It's all tangible, it's all happening and we're heading out soon. With the expedition being about three weeks away, I'm becoming increasingly excited, increasingly nervous. And I just sort of, I can't wait to get started. Whenever I've done a big adventure, that's kind of been the best thing for me is that if you realize that actually you are capable, you are capable. And everyone has those moments of doubt and fear and worry. Um, and that's part of being human. But 
ultimately also part of being human is that we are capable of a lot more than we, we think 